sure. Naomi Watts gets King Kong, and I'm stuck with Mega Squid. I don't care how misunderstood this thing is, I am not falling in love with it, okay? Welcome to the channel and our continuing playthrough of Pel uh, Pericles, the Peloponnesian Wars. It is still turn six. This will be part three of uh, the theater resolution. Now, I want to get, get right into it. And there's something I forgot. Uh, and I will make this correction now. Is we had a big land battle here in Athens, and the Athenians uh, somehow managed to win that and defeat the Spartans. That actually constituted a major defeat. So what that does is for turn seven, that is going to put the war and peace issue in the two spot of the opposition faction for the Aegeots. So we might see peace in the next turn, which would actually in turn seven and beyond, if peace is declared from war, that will trigger the end game. But we're not there yet. Let's see what happens as we continue on. First we'll go is the... Oh, interesting. This thing is... I just realized my phone tells me how much time I have to record. Ah, nice feature. Okay, so we start with the Aegeod down here in... Um, are they doing Sicily? Or they, no, they're doing Attica. They don't have an issue there anymore. They've resolved all their issues. Um... We have a league issue somewhere on here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, well, can't, can't sweat that now, so we're going to go here. And we have the Europontids military issue here. How is that going to go? The Europontids will commit their five Stratagos tokens into Sicily. Now we're going to have to use, and it tells us to use move naval units in excess of the naval units at Sicily. Uh, we don't have a whole lot that can actually move. Um, yeah, really, uh, they're stuck. They're stuck. So, the first one, they can move out of here. Uh, but, because there is a still an issue in Corinth, I cannot take the last out from there. That leaves this guy. And he can... Come in here, but he becomes stuck immediately uh, for being in Athens. He can't uh, outweigh the uh, military value of all that navy. And so whatever's left is uh, land units to take. And so, again, these guys are stuck here. All right, we can take, and this is a kind of a confusing with the bots, is they want you to keep one per base in, in the homeland. However, that's if, if I'm reading the book in the manual rather than the charts, that's only if there's a queue in here. Because we can always redeploy back. Uh, but if there's nothing here, we're not under any kind of threat. So we can drain them. So we'll take one out. Here, we'll count from, make sure we count all these one at a time. He'd go in here, and then he would pop in here. And let's see. One, two. One, two, three. Yes. Now, because he... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta remember this. No, they're gonna get stuck in um, Nopactus because... And this is a little detail you gotta watch out for. This is a light blue route. And with the light blue route, you can't, you go by how much navy strength you got in there if to, to move out of there. And he's got four navy strength to my three. So any... Land units coming in here are going to get stuck. So there's one. Bring this guy in. Two. Well, three. And then um, two more can come from here. But they're all going to be stuck in there. Due to uh, the base rules. Okay. That is going to be their move. This moves on to the Europontids. Here, let me put this over here. Who have to pass because there's no uh, open issue uh, for them. Goes to the demagogues, who were trying to defend in Athens, which they have done. And so they're going to pick uh, one of these three spots that we have. Oops, I dropped my camera. Where's my cool dice? Uh, well, we'll use this one. Two. Well, it says three, but it'll be the second one. And the second one is Isthmus of Corinth. I'm going to peel this off. And we got uh, Rumors Marker. 
and it is my turn. I'm going to go ahead and free up Sicily here. And that's another rumors market. So, as you can see, I'm trying to go last. I want to be the last player in, uh, get the last shot in, basically. So it goes back to the Aegead. And they are, uh, they've already done their Attica, so they have a choice between Sicily and Corinth. They'll take uh, Corinth. So we flip this, and it is the Aegeod's League issue. Let me, and that is a free League issue. Let me see how they want me to implement that. It just tells us to build units matching the theater. This is a land theater, so we will build four land units. That is the Aegeod's turn. Or did your opponents do that? Hang on. Yeah, the Aegeod did that. So there's that. That is their final issue. Goes to the Europontids, and they only have Sicily. This is going to be down here. That's going to be their other league issue, which is going to be a dead issue because there's it's not contested. Trying, but they couldn't make it. And the demigods, finally. Uh, they have only one. They have my issue. So they're going to flip that. It's going to be my military issue, and I am going to implement as such. So I think I'm going to roll the dice on a little um, uh, military expedition here. We're going to commit our full five. The Dem demagogues have no issues. They would commit their one. Well, no, they, uh, hang on. Yes, yeah, so I can move all these guys uh, because my bases allow it. We're going to march four there. And I do want to, I think I want to maximize this because he's going to throw in all his uh, units as well. So let's find a unit from somewhere else. And we'll just go, say, from here. Okay, there's five units in there. So, the demagogues will throw their one in. I'm going to throw in the Athenian state ship for another Stratagos. The Aegead are going to, since they have no issues left, we'll go ahead and throw their four in. And the Europontids only have one left. They'll throw that in. So we have us a little interesting battle here coming up. Let us calculate. Here, let's bring our camera in a little bit closer. We can take a look. How's that? So, I have five land units, plus six Stratagos tokens, plus one Athenian state ship for a grand total of 12. The Spartans have base and land units, one, two, and three, plus five is eight. 12 to eight. And now it comes down to the draw of the card. It's not a gimme, but we are ahead in the... Oh, tie ball game. All right. So we are going to win this. With a loss differential of 12 minus 8 is a 4. That is enough to destroy the unit and the base. All right, so here's some more points for us. So that's going to be two eliminated. I'll go up by two times four points. One, two, three, four. Demagogues will go up by two. One, two. Your punt is down by one, two. One, two. And the Aegod, one, two. One, two. And... Uh, that is not. That is only four points lost by the uh, Spartans. That would not count as a major defeat, and it wouldn't matter anyway because we already uh, dropped the board piece issue on top of um, the uh, uh, faction uh, for issues for next turn. And these are going to be destroyed, but not permanently destroyed. They'll go back into the pool. And so that is it. We have resolved all the issues for uh, for this turn. And so, and we did a lot better than we have been doing. So that'll be it for this time, and stay tuned for next when we clean all this up and see where we stand. Thanks for watching.